All right, rolling. And give it go. Hey, I'm Neil, and this is Lessons Learned. <laughs> All I'm Neil, and this is Lessons Learned in Time. Today, we're going to be covering the Ozen brand. I am a big fan of B&H Photo and Adorama in the city, but here in New Jersey, when I can, uh, I shop at a camera store called Unique Photo. They're in Fairfield, New Jersey, and if you're in New Jersey, I would highly recommend that you check them out before you head into the city. They are very knowledgeable, very helpful, and I would say in part because they're not in Manhattan, it's a little bit slower, they can spend a little more time with you and really help you find what you're looking for. That was a car accident. Really? 100%. So at Unique, uh, at the camera show, I ran into a brand I had not seen before called Ozen. They design and manufacture camera support systems. So the, the sticks, the tripods, and the fluid heads that go on top. So I'm at this show and I run into this guy named David Cox. He's the, the sales rep for Ozen. We get to talking and I learn about the, the Ozen line of product. And going into the conversation, I knew that the, the set of sticks, the system that I wanted to, to be in was going to be something like uh, a Sackler system that was going to run me in the neighborhood of eight to 10 grand. And I was kind of at the point where I was gonna make peace with spending that much money. Keep in mind that everything I've purchased to this point didn't really cost much over about $2,000. As I have grown as a cinematographer, as my skills have, have gotten better, I now want more from my equipment. So we're gonna break down the Ozen lineup, and I'm gonna try and do this as systematically as I possibly can. I'm not going to go over all of the different permutations because when I'm buying a product, I try to figure out the features that matter to me and then narrow down the exact product that I want based on the features that I desire. So there are three different options to consider. The first is the material, aluminum, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is lighter, and for me, being on the road most of the time, the better choice. The downside to carbon fiber is it's traditionally significantly more expensive, sometimes twice as much. In the case of Ozen, however, their carbon fiber option is usually only about $200, maybe $300 over the price of their aluminum option. The second consideration I have when choosing a camera support system is its load capacity. Ozen has two different capacities in their line. They've got their standard duty and their heavy duty. And those options are available in both the aluminum and the carbon fiber. The next consideration is the size of the bowl that's on top. Excuse me. There are a bunch of different bowl sizes, but in, in my travels, there are really only two, 75 and 100, that are for the systems that I look at purchasing. This is a 75 millimeter bowl, and the 75 millimeter refers to this width right here. Uh, there's also a 100 millimeter bowl, which is what this guy is over here. This is a 75 millimeter ball, and this is a 100 millimeter ball. Obviously, the smaller heads that have a smaller load capacity have a 75 millimeter bowl. And intuitively, it makes sense that when you have a bigger head that can support a bigger load, you want a bigger ball because that increases the, the contact area up here in the interface between the head and the sticks. And I would say it also, in general, translates down that the, the bigger the head that you have on your tripod, the bigger the contact area you want, and the beefier the, the tripod you want below your, your big head. So now that we have the material, we've got the bowl size. Those are the, the first two considerations that I make. So for me, with the FS5 Mark II, when it has nothing on it, it really could go on a 75 millimeter system, which is the smaller system. Uh, but when I put the prompter on it and all of the other camera support on it, it really falls more into the heads that belong on a 100 millimeter system. So for me, I, I just touched my mic. So for me, crossing the threshold from 75 to 100 millimeter, I want to have the option to build my rig as big and complicated as is necessary, and I don't want to be limited by my sticks. So one of the issues I had with other manufacturers is when I crossed from 75 millimeters to 100 millimeters, I lost the ability to use that system with smaller cameras. If I wanted a system that I could use with the FS5 Mark II, I would lose the ability to use that same system with this camera because the load handling didn't go low enough anymore. So a small system like this that only weighs a couple of pounds just wouldn't balance on a 100 millimeter system. 
With Ozen, they've got a couple of heads that are in between that go low enough that I can still use a smaller, lighter mirrorless system on, but can still handle the FS5 Mark II with many of its accessories. So carbon fiber, 100 millimeter bowl, and uh, the 15, which goes low enough for the mirrorless, but high enough for the FS5 Mark II.